everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap Crate and we are working on page six. Page six, so we're gonna start with a large flap that is eight, eight and five eighths by eight inches tall. You're gonna score a half inch on the eight and five eighths inch side. And it is five eighths inch wide, so I wouldn't have to trim down my eight inch um, designer paper, uh, at least in width. So I only had to take uh, an eighth of an inch off the top. Okay, that's in. Let's go ahead and get our magnets in. Let me make sure I'm doing this right side up. I am. Make sure you inset it enough that when it's closed, you're not going to have any. Um, have the magnet exposed on the side because we're going to do a little color blocking over here or at least i am i'm not sure how you guys are decorating okay there we go all right so i have this two inch decorative strip that's going to go here and then i've got this beautiful piece of paper that's going to go here okay just like so so we're gonna go ahead and add this, and then we're gonna decorate the inside, and then we'll trim this two inch strip down to fit. Sorry, I was double checking something. On the inside, I've got this that I'm going to use right here, and then I'm going to use the flip side here. So it's the same pattern, flip side. Both of these are obviously from the 8x8 collection pack. And I don't know why I continue to try to use my fingernails. It never works. So uh, page three is the same flap design, and um, I did both of these with just very large, simple flaps, just so you'd have um, some photo space inside the album for large pictures. Okay, that's in. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay this in, and mark it, and trim it to fit. and. When I'm trimming to fit for color blocking, I mark on both ends because if one of them doesn't go in straight, this is your opportunity to visually straighten it, even if it means sometimes cutting at a slant. And in this case, it looked like I did a good job cutting it or getting it laid down straight in the first place, but that doesn't always happen. And then this is our last piece. And it's inked and ready to go. So let's just get the tape backing off. I'm just pressing it into place. It just makes the uh, backing easier to remove. So I don't pick up the tape with it. And I'm just gonna, oh my, am I? Nope, it's gonna go in this way because I trimmed it this way, yeah.
think that's it for, I love this pattern. There's two patterns that I really like. This is one and the other one is more of a background and it's green and I really like it too. Okay, so that's it for page six. So we have this nice, huge space for photos, right? And even if you don't wanna cover your window, you could still very easily get two three by threes or uh, three by five easily. Okay, that's it for page six.